Hello friends, welcome to today's session of Cisco Collaboration Interview Questions, Basics, Part 1. What is a device pool? Device pools define sets of common characteristics for devices. For example, CUCM group, date, and time group, region, location, media resource group list, SRSD reference, etc. What are locations and regions? Regions define the maximum bandwidth that can be used per call for audio and video calls within a region and between two regions. Hence, limiting the choice of audio codecs to be used for calls between two regions. Locations define the total maximum bandwidth for audio and video calls separately for all the ingress and egress calls for that location. Location bandwidth can also be defined for links between two locations. Locations are also used for call admission control, for rerouting the calls via PSTN, after the maximum bandwidth limit is reached. What are CSS and partitions? A partition is like a lock, that can be defined for any callable entity, like directory number, route pattern, translation pattern, hunt pilot, etc. A CSS is an ordered list of partitions, like a key, that can be assigned to any calling entity in CUCM, example, directory numbers, IP phones, gateway, trunk, and translation patterns. If a calling entity has a CSS that contains the partition of the called entity, only then, the call will be connected, else the call will fail. What are translation patterns? Translation patterns are used in CUCM to manipulate digits before forwarding a call. For example, abbreviated dialing, globalization, transforming local number to E164 or global format, localization, transforming E164 or global format to local numbering format, and mapping a public PSTN number to a locally significant number. What are route patterns, route group, and route lists? Route patterns are used to match external patterns, and then, route the calls to a gateway, a trunk or a route list. Route lists, are a prioritized list of the route groups, to send the call. Route groups, are list of gateways and trunks, to which the outgoing call is distributed. Which VoIP protocols are supported in CUCM? VoIP protocols supported by CUCM are, SIP, for trunks and IP phones. SCCP, for IP phones and analog voice gateways, VG350, VG320, VG204, etc. H.323, for voice gateways, and trunks. MGCP, for voice gateways and analog voice gateways, VG350, VG320, VG204, etc. What are the different deployment models? Following are the three unified communications deployment models. Campus deployment model. Where the unified communications and collaboration services, their associated endpoints, gateways, border controllers, media resources, and other components are all located on a single high-speed LAN or MAN. Centralized deployment model. Where the unified communications and collaboration services are located in a central campus site or data center, but the endpoints, gateways, media resources, and other components are distributed across multiple remote sites that are interconnected by AQOS-enabled WAN. Distributed deployment model where multiple campus and or centralized deployments are interconnected by means of a trunk and dial plan aggregation platform, such as a Cisco Unified Communications Manager Session Management Edition cluster, over AQOS-enabled WAN. Describe Cisco IP phone boot-up process. The Cisco IP phone receives power through PoE switch or power adapter. As the IP phone powers on, it receives the voice VLAN information, from the switch using Cisco Discovery Protocol. The Cisco IP phone sends a DHCP request asking for an IP address on its voice VLAN. DHCP server provides the following information to the IP phone. IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. DNS server information. Option 150, which contains IP address of the TFTP server. The IP phone contacts the TFTP server and downloads its configuration file, which contains a list of CUCM servers to which the phone should register. It also provides the firmware version information to the IP phone. 
If the firmware version does not match with the current version on the IP phone, the IP phone downloads the required firmware version from the TFTP server. Then the IP phone attempts to register to the listed call processing servers one by one until it registers successfully. IP phone also downloads soft key, localization, and ringtone files from the TFTP server, if required. What is CUC MSME? Cisco Unified Communications Manager Session Management Edition, SME, is a complete SIP call control server, capable of interworking multiple CUCM clusters, session border controllers, and other third-party integrations. For interconnecting multiple CUCM clusters, it acts as a hub and other CUCM clusters act as leaf or spoke, thus creating a star topology and reducing the number of trunks required to interconnect the CUCM clusters. It can also be used for centralized PSTN breakout or centralized third-party integrations. However, it is not used for IP phone registrations. What are Cisco Unity Connection and IAM and Presence servers? Cisco Unity Connection integrates with CUCM to provide features like voicemail, call handlers, that can be used to configure auto attendance, and email integration for voicemail. Cisco IAM and Presence integrates with CUCM to provide features like messaging, presence, file sharing, persistent chat, and federation, to enable messaging with domains outside the company. If you like this video, I request you to kindly like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel. It will help us to continue making more of such videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day ahead.